Okay, there's a challenge at the docks. Are we about to swim? I don't know, I'm not helping you. Um, boxing challenge. Another one? So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. Now what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? Hmm. You know what? Don't worry about it. Pete's done his homework on the preps. Yeah, so we're throwing down the gauntlet once again. I'm not really sure who Biff is. But yeah, we gotta go to the boxing club. Oh, and it's snowing too, so it goes to show how fast the months go by in this game. Oh my gosh, get out of my way. You know what for that? Taking a photo of you for trying to run me over. <laughs> I, I gotta get that license plate. Let's get that license plate. Darn it. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, fine. <laughs> we gotta get through here. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course. The best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Oh, Biff, it's this guy. Yeah, yeah, it's this guy. Yeah, he knocked us out before. Okay, let me backpedal from what I said in the last episode. I said that the preps were tough. It's Biff that's specifically tough. Alright. Hopefully, uh, we can get him out in a swip. In this boxing match. I'm sure he's gonna be really strong. Yeah, I gotta, like, learn to block more. I mean, we're doing pretty good so far. Kinda shocked. Alright. What just happened? Press the button. Uppercut. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, he takes a lot of damage. It's like fighting the four big bosses in Portal Combat. You know, if you were, like, to face someone like Goro or Kentaro, they take, like, double damage on the old Mortal Kombat games. It's similar to that. All right, well, I mean, he's almost down. So, not too concerning here. Just keep this going, just spam this. Oh yeah, he's good at blocking. Did it. Huh, he wasn't really that tough here. Maybe it's the numbers that really bothered me back then. Me! Who's the toughest? Or previous me. episode. Who's the man? Me! Me, losers! Me! The champion number one! I killed the best! I will beat the rest! Yeah! What have we got here? That poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff! He's our new it, champion! What? He is That's the right. new champion! Yeah, come on! Come on, man! Woo! You disgust me! <laughs> It takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, Lip are we tar. going to let some gutter snipe <laughs> come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Right. So now we're facing Darby? Oh great, now they're... Oh, I desperately want to click the left mouse button, but that's not the button anymore. Like, it was only the option for the boxing match. Oh my gosh, get off of me. I just like twirl him over and then he died. Alright, anyway. Um... Shoot. I don't have any firecrackers. I guess it wouldn't be too fair of a match huh, if I had firecrackers. It's fine. Yeah. You lay there. Happy as a bee. We hit hard, sure. You pathetic wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's the 
here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. Great. Alright, you two. Wait, they turned me around. Apparently he brings two people at a time. Alright. The next Darby. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of HP. They just make it look like he has a lot. Come on. Good foot movement. I'll give you that. Oh. He'll go down. Alright, I guess we'll focus more on, uh, Darby. If we can. Where'd he go? Oh. Already knocked down his men, huh? You got more? Yeah, you can try that, but... I'm still gonna win in the end. Oh my gosh. Uppercut. There we go. How do you feel? You preppies have nothing on me. Alright. Uh... I was gonna get those items, but fine. Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Uh... That's right. Me. Now you girls, learn to play nice. You understand? Bunch of weaklings, huh? So, I guess there's no longer gonna be a Donnybrook with them? From here on out? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. What did the greasers do? So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson? They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? <laughs> They're all just Johnny roasting him in front of his face. Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the tell. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, Greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs <laughs> your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Huh, their relationship seems healthier throughout the time. Oh, what's she? What is, what is going on? What is she doing in the boys' dorm? Well, I guess, uh, she got the hookups with the jock. I'm not really sure what he's up to. I'm confused. This looks like a mess right now. Oh, it looks like Pete's killing it at the racing arcade. You need help? Oh, class has started. Oh. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. Uh, I wanna save first, actually. Yeah, so it's winter time now. This is around that time for me to make some Christmas thumbnails. Oh boy. Oh, it's chemistry. Yeah, I forgot that it resets to chemistry. Okay. We've got a lot of work before us today. I'm sure we do. Take care to follow my instructions precisely. All right. Uh, with volatile chemicals. is it going to go much faster now, or are there going to be new controls? New controls. Good job. Keep paying attention. Oh gosh, I almost forgot. Okay, it's not sad. It's add. We're almost there. Yes, first try. I'm not doing that again. I'm gonna go save. <laughs> like chemistry, like builds up so much pressure with all those buttons. It's like at least with workshop, you're at least given some time to figure out what you need to do. 
But like it goes back to back like consecutively with the buttons in chemistry. Which I'm not too fond of. Ooh, what's going on here? What did I do? Why'd you point at me? Yeah, good job. The authority's doing the right thing for once. Uh, where'd she go? I gotta give her book back. Alright. Oh, hi there. Yeah, I got you some flowers. Sure, um, first kiss of the winter. Break a leg in class. We gotta go now. Ah, uh, so it's, uh, English 3. Well, wow, things have actually been going my way so far. <laughs> Didn't like how it's been with, like, the authorities and whatever. I'm still abiding, but... Not abiding, but breaking the rules of the dress code. I mean, I'm still wearing that Aquaberry sweater. Like, that's a violation of my own dress code. Um... Okay, well, here we go. Oh, wow, there's a lot more words to add this time, huh? Smile is one. Good one. And smiles... Gotta always add an S at the Good end. One. That's what I messed up last time. Slime. Good one. Uh, so... Uh, limes. Good one. And limes. Good one. And lime, don't forget that one. I see less. Good one. Mess. Good one. Lie. Good one. And lies. Good one. <sighs> Lays. Good one. Thank you, Hawaii. Good one. Okay. Mm. There's a previous one in there. Elm. Elm. Good one. Elms. Good one. Slim. Good one. And Slims. Good one. Uh, I still got plenty of time, but Miles. Good one. And Miles. Good one. Sayism? Good one. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Isle? Good one. Okay, we're doing pretty fantastic so far. Good one. Oh my gosh. It's always the short ones that really get me. Pause this for a second and think, can I? Yes, thank you. See, so, yeah, this like pauses the timer for a bit. I'm trying to jump into this thinking of something. Miss? Miss? Oh, I think Mill might be one too. What about Mills? I don't think that's in the dictionary. Okay. Pause then. I want to do really well on this. Especially since people comment like the words for me, even though I always do my research afterwards to find out what it is. See, I hate that I have to pause it like this. But I mean, at least I can pause it. Darn. Miles, limes. Those are already in there. can't think of any right now. Slim? Is Slim? Slim's already in there. Good one. Oh my gosh. We're missing one word again. I didn't have enough time to think. Trust me. If I had the time, I could have figured this entire thing out. I think I made that pretty clear here. Oh no, my battery's in the red. 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to like cut this off pretty soon. That sounds abusive. Um. Uh, good for you. <laughs> you should teach lessons on forgiveness? Okay. Anyway, yeah, I gotta go save now. Okay, it looks like we may be doing something else for Edna. Cook's Crush. Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Wasp! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. Okay, that's enough information. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them. Just look for them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can Good do that. Good grief. Good. This woman terrifies me. Oh my gosh. This is the real wicked witch. Okay, Edna's items. Well, apparently I already have one of them. Um, I guess we'll go this way? First it off? Oh, it's blocked off. Hi, you. Okay, so, wait, what am I doing here? Well, I can go through here. Trespassing. Oh, so that's Miss Phyllis' perfume. Okay, well, that's that. Oh, now I'm being chased. That's great. Maybe I should have set a fire alarm. Now what? I gotta go... Oh, I'm, I'm about to go get some candy from the trash or whatever? Oh. Edna's really weird. I don't know why she wants to be, like, as unsanitary as possible. Apparently, it's like, it's some sort of, like, fetish she has. Oh my gosh. Can you... Stand still. There. That's what I wanted to do. It's like, if you want to, like interact with an item, you have to stand still. That's what's really bothersome about the controls with this game. It's like if you're interacting with stuff while you're moving, then it makes your character lose control. Anyway, uh, can I cut corners here? I can. We're we gonna be checking these trash cans? Uh, sure. No, I still wanna look around here. I found some prescription bottles. Okay. It belongs to Hobo Santa. Huh. I wonder what the, the thumbnail is going to be for this video. I've kind of just been coming up with random thumbnails that may be befitting for the title. I don't know. So what do we have so far? Hobo Santa, um, Edna being disgusting for a date. I've helped some girls, uh, I've kissed Christy. I could go with something like Ladies Night. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not talking about Ladies Night as in like a nighttime time of night. I'm talking about like a night, like the hero. Anyway, yeah, um, I guess we're going back to Edna now. Alright Edna, I'm back. Hey Edna, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bat. I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. Oh, I look! <laughs> Fantastic. 
If I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, Jeff! <laughs> Where's the perfume? Right here. What? Ah, oh, thanks. Did she just drink that? I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah. What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> for you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. Okay. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. All right, fine. Oh, wow, I got 40 bucks out of this. Nice. We're getting paid a lot more in this game. Yeah, so whether she doesn't spit on my food or not, she's still using expired food, so I would still kvetch over the food safety. So it just, it doesn't really, it, it's not effective at all. Alright, anyway, yeah, um, war task is up ahead. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll start, dude, we're not going to be going to the Red Star today, but I gotta go to one of these places. You know, I might as well, like, pause the time. Because I, I don't want it to, like, be curfew time and then all the tasks are over. I'd rather do all the tasks now. I mean, when it comes to game features, I'm definitely not a fan of time-based games. Like, uh, Mizuna Falls did the same thing, too, but Mizuna Falls is far worse. Alright, so, uh... Oh, this is the cook's date. And do not disturb the date, hide in the tree. Oh, uh, we're doing this again? Uh, it's been a minute since we've done this, huh? And then it's like R to sit on the chair, right? Or on the branch, not the chair. Oh, there you are. I kind of just made a cutscene. <laughs> where they just jump straight to these two. Alright, so I gotta watch out for the kids, apparently. Uh. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to... <laughs> get out of here, you little breath, before I get my cleaver! Dude, she is brutal. Anyway, yeah, I gotta do this again. I don't know what was happening there. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Christy. I'm gonna have to shoot you out of here. There's Fatty, too. Dude. Why is this... So hard to control. Like I'm, can I not go into the super slingshot, please? Muffins in your classroom? Really bad. I wonder who could it be? How do you know it's Hopkins? Apparently they see me from the tree. Yeah, I have to like shoot from the side, it's so annoying. Huh. Well. Um got Wow, they brought a whole bat here, why? And there's a jock. Yeah, so you can't Get out of here, dude. I shot you before. I guess you have to shoot them twice. Yeah, go away, Mindy. You too, jockhead. What? What did you just say? Dude, there's so many of them. Shoot. Good grief, it's so hard to control in this task.
Dude, someone was hitting on Edna. Oh no! The visions are back! Get back, foul fiends! Oh, come on, gorgeous! It's about time I show you what I know about chemistry! <laughs> and a little biology! <laughs> uh, 50 bucks, nice. It was worth it. Uh, I hate that I had to shoot people that I actually liked in this game, but just had to do it for the task. Um, yeah, so we got some more tasks up ahead from here. You forgive me, right? For what I just did? Or you can add these uh, flowers if you stop moving. <laughs> this game is so broken. You can have another pair of flowers, too. And, uh, I guess a kiss, too. Alright. That was just my apology kiss. But anyway. Yeah, um, we gotta head out to... One of these stars? There's one over here, but... I mean, I'm already heading this way. I don't want to get off my skateboard now. Did we ever get the hookups with Mindy? Like, I don't remember that at all. I guess we'll find out once we get to the uh, Jocks chapter, which I think may be up next. We're going this way? Oh, I haven't been to this town, that's right. Yeah, this is where the Greasers live. Here's a Yum Yum Market. Is this any different from all the other ones? This is the place for bargains. Oh. They have a different man this time. Uh, let me go ahead and buy some more flowers. Oh, wow, I have a lot of money. Yeah, same with you. What else do they have out here? See, it's just a place for... Oh. slab o meat. Yeah, a place for greasers. See, they're all around here. What do you want, fatty? I don't know what his deal was. Sorry if I offended you by calling you fatty. Uh, let's go in here. <laughs> um, why? Is this... Oh, I imagine it's a punk store, isn't it? Oh, I can get a haircut, and I can get some clothes. Okay, I'm down. Oh, yeah, I gotta change out of this Aquaberry vest. Don't want to wear this anymore. Oh, we got a leather jacket. Yeah, this is a punk store. Black Bomber? No, I don't mind this one. I'll buy that. Um, I mean, there's no point to have anything on my arms when I can't even see it. Alright, what kind of pants do you have? Pistol pants? Dude, this is very punk. Uh, don't really care too much for the cargoes. High cuff jeans. Oh, I kind of like that. I'll take it. Oh yeah, I'm going very punk right now. Motorcycle boots, army boots. Oh yeah, I'm effing with this store. This may be my favorite store yet in the game. Brown runners. We got some more runners. Fat sneaks. Ah, they got a diverse set of uh, shoes in this, don't they? Ooh, they have skate shoes. I guess I should have expected something involving with skateboarding. If we're in a punk store. Hmm... I'm kind of digging the red ones. They're only $9? Wow, these are cheap. Very cheap skate shoes. $6. Wow, actually, everything is cheap. Let me look at the leather jacket. $30. Oh my gosh. Leather jackets actually cost like $100 in real life. That's insane. Uh, sure. I'll do this. Oh, so this is the anti-establishment? Um, let's see what kind of haircuts they have here. Ah, oh, this is pretty typical. Mohawks. Hmm. This definitely shouts American Wasteland. Yeah, uh, as far as scholarship edition goes, 
American Wasteland is older. But Bully had just Bully, not Scholarship Edition. That's older than American Wasteland. I think. Yeah, I, I think it is. Or it's like around the same age. Alright, uh, I think I'm cool with the haircut that I have now. Alright. Uh, hopefully you appreciate more of my patronage when I come back in another time. <laughs> I wonder if there's a mod where I can play as like a female. What do you want? Lady is cheating on me. Can you get me some pics so she will take half when I divorce her? Huh. Interesting. Why not? Thanks. All right, so I had to go this way and then take a photo of a cheating girlfriend. Wait, filing for a divorce? Oh, right, so you're setting things up. You're trying to make that mono. Where are we going exactly? We're going outside of this town. We're going to the hotel? Or motels? Oh god, you're right. Ah, I gotta take a photo of this. Yes, you did it. Alright, so I got the photo, now I can go back. That was a perfect photo too. He has proof now. He's gonna walk away with good old money when he files for divorce. Sir, I got your photo. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Give me 25 bucks. Not bad. Just to take a photo, that's really good. Man, I wish it was this easy to make money. Anyway, uh, there's a task up here. What is this about? This is... Balls of Snow. Hey, 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 kid. You got a light? No. Okay, well, then you want to sit on my knee? You want a kick in the balls? Uh, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just a little down on my luck. I mean, one year, I'm living in Greenland with a posse of elves and some talking reindeer. <laughs> and the next... I'm getting treated like a drunken fool, thrown out of the North Pole, and put to work in a dump of a town like this. Okay, man, now you're kind of creeping me out. Why, why, why does everyone say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder well, why, too. I can't imagine. I mean, the other kids was just abusing me, calling me a pervert. Throwing snowballs at me. <laughs> You're just like them, little red-haired bully. Hold on. Which kids? Those ones over there. The tough kids. Damn it. Not the rich kids from the fancy school like you. The Molly Connolly the Mavis boys like you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> They keep attacking me, man. I can't take it no more. What happens in the old days? I miss Prancer. Oh, what? He was always my favorite. Not Rudolph. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was always my favorite. Oh, little boss here. Hey, listen, man. Where are these kids? Over there somewhere. Dude, this game is cracking me up so much. Okay. Climb the ladder and get into the position by the... Okay. Oh, you... There we go. Uh, I think. Oh, no. No, you're throwing the... Weird. I failed. Don't hit a don'ts. Rudy got busted. Dude, I couldn't help that. Like, it's hard to... It's hard to navigate on certain people. Okay, we'll do that task later. Whoa. <laughs> I was gonna help Santa, but... I guess we'll do this task instead. Panty raid. What? 
evening, sir. You, boy! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. I, we found a great deal in all mean, that. Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research. To check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girls' dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh. All right, got it. Yeah, um... Back to doing more research? <laughs> oh, man. This guy. Uh, enjoy your night of debauchery. Anyway, yeah, we gotta go to the girls' dorm. And, uh, it won't be too easy to be stealthy there. Because they freak out if one girl sees you. So, yeah. Probably gonna be one of the most difficult challenges as far as being stealthy goes. Um, yeah. I, I really need to just ride a bike from here on out. Climbing up this ladder. Oh yeah, this is very discreet. Alright. Well... Not really sure why they built this here. It's like, this is very obvious, meant for us. Collect the pieces of laundry. Oh, and they're playing this music. I don't know why, this music just shouts lewd to me. Okay. Anyway, yep. Down we go. Um... We gotta be careful. Um, he's gonna go right in here. Uh, uh I gotta go hide. Oh wow, she's on the lookout for me. Uh, these girls aren't freaking out that I'm in here. Maybe they have a lot of respect for me. Before they were like freaking out and like kicking me in the nuts, but no, they're perfectly calm and stoic. Okay. Gonna walk out. Um, I'm gonna go right in here. Where is it over here? Oh. Um, oh, I can hide here. Oh, actually, I don't need to hide anymore. We just go. Yeah, she's gone, dude. Alright. Here we go. I agree. Like, why are they leaving this stuff all around the place? But she just spawned there! I was very discreet. I was only here to help someone. I'm not here to be naughty. All right, I'm out. Yeah, you never saw me. I was just here to collect laundry. Oh boy, where is he? There you are. I hope these are worth all the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this laundry. It's like looking all around. Thirty bucks. Thank you, my man. He has an S tier fit. Nice work, a freaking bucket hat and a tracksuit. Hey, uh, you're ridiculous. All good? You're ridiculous. 
What? Dude, why are you talking all this smack when I just saw you in an adult store? No, I beg to differ. I think you need to go to it. This guy. Alright, anyway. Uh, one more task. Yeah, I guess we'll get that out of the way. I'm not really sure what that is. This over here? Oh, the diary. Oh, Christy. Okay, fine. Here. How many times have I gave her flowers in this episode? Ah, uh, sure, Christy. Well, anyway, yeah. We can't do this task because it breaks the game for some reason, so... Yeah, I guess we're done for the episode. Christy, go back to the girls' dorm. I need to go get some sleep. We're actually saving, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'll save the rest for the next episode. Yeah, see you on the next one. We're 22% into this game. Wow. We still have a whole long way to go.